inductance in our conductors. So we have Lx, which is equal to our constant, 2 times 10 to the negative 7th ln. And we have our dm over our ds, and this is in Henry per meter. Then we have gmd, which is also called dm. That's our geometric distance, or mean distance in meters. And then we have our gmr, which can also be called our ds, and that's our geometric mean radius in meters. So our GMR is a table value, so that's a, normally that's provided to you in your question. Um, that's supplied by the manufacturer for a single conductor. It takes into account the cable strands for a single conductor. Um, so your GMR would be 0.7788 times the radius. The GMR is equivalent is the equivalent radius of a simple cylindrical conductor that would have the same capacitance as a bundle conductor. So this is going to be where your dm is calculated from the line spacing. For a three-phase line of a single conductor, we're going to have our dm equal to our dab times our dac times our dbc all divided by a squared root third value, right, which is equal to our GND value. Just got to make sure you remember this. It's by the third, not um, regular square root, so it's cubed root. Where DM is the distance from the center of one conductor to the center of the next conductor, for bundle conductors, DS will change the DS to a DS bundle. So for two bundle conductors per phase where D equals distance between conductors in a bundle and the DS equals GMR, the distance as a percentage of a single cable radius um, from the manufacturer's table. So you have your, your DS here is going to equal your quad root of your DS times your D all squared which will equal ds times d square root. So here, for three bundled conductors, three conductors per phase, you're going to have your dsb, your 9 squared root ds times d3, I mean times d times d all cubed, or you just have the cubed root of ds d squared, right? So this is when you, and this is a diagram you would see for that kind of, your th three bundled conductors. For your four bundled conductors, you're going to see a diagram like this. And your dbs is going to be the 16th root of your ds times your d times your d times your d to the radical 2 all to the fourth power, or you could write it out as 1.019 um, to the fourth root of ds.